Hey YouTube, so today I'm going to show you how I have my virtual machine Windows Vista configured under VMware Fusion. Basically what I've done is I've configured um, Vista to start up once the Mac has booted and to have it start up in spaces using space number two automatically. So I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate that to you. So first thing I do is turn on my Mac. So the Mac is turning on. It will be a second because I just finished installing updates. Yeah, I just got this Griffin elevator stand, and I'm I'm really liking it. It's pretty sturdy. It's keeping my MacBook about 15 degrees cooler, so it was definitely worth the twenty dollars. It's an actual aluminum. It's oxidized aluminum, so it's it it looks good. I, it was actually built for the MacBook Pro, but um, whatever works, you know. So watch this monitor. Right now space 1 should currently be open. Um, you'll see VMware is going to bounce up and down in the dock. Okay, let's see what's going to happen. So VMware is started, I'm assuming. Okay, it shows that I'm in space 1. You can't see that, okay? You saw how it just flipped on like that. So, went to space 2. So now VMware Fusion, see I'm not doing anything. Now the virtual machine should automatically start. So there's, there we go. Restoring virtual machine. State. Should actually be there. Okay, so it's Still restoring. Oh, sorry, playing with my tripod again. Okay, Windows is ready to go. Enter full screen. I I'm gonna work on an Apple script to try to make that go to full screen automatically. Okay, so there is space number one. Space number two, space number one, space number two, and I'm doing this by control over. And you can go over either, over either way. It knows which way. So I only have two spaces configured. I only need two spaces, or I also have it configured by squeezing. I actually need to have the mouse set down for it to work. So, space number two. Space number one. Monitor A, monitor B, monitor A, monitor B. So let's go ahead and click the Mac space. I'm going to show you how to configure this now. Okay. Go Apple. Go System Preferences. Go ahead and click on Accounts. Sorry, I'm shooting this with a very crappy camera and go ahead and click login items now click the little plus button here go to your applications folder and click VMware Fusion click add click the plus button again click your documents folder and click virtual machines and select Vista and click add now go ahead and click show all and go to expose and spaces up there click spaces and application assignment so go ahead and click plus and add VMware Fusion and then using this little scroll wheel select which space you'd like it to open up and defaultly so yeah there you go that will configure VMware Fusion to open automatically now, say you're running a dual screen setup like I am at the moment, and you would like 
one monitor to be um, Windows and one monitor to be Mac, there's a way to do that. So go ahead and bring um, VMware Fusion into a uh, single window by clicking view in the start bar and clicking single window. Uh oh, I got the beach ball. Uh oh, I got the beach ball. Okay, no longer have the beach ball. So go ahead and make it small enough to fit onto this monitor and drag it onto the monitor you would like it to be full screen on and then click full screen and it will go into full screen on that monitor. So you now have a Vista monitor and a Mac monitor. Now watch this, watch this. I have a picture here. See, I have the picture. I just drug it onto my Vista and there's the picture. It's actually a screenshot. This was a, the error I was getting on my iPhone. And I just took a screenshot of that so I could bring that into the genius bar. So, ah, yes. You know how I bought an 8 gig iPhone? Oh, genius bar gave me a 16 gig iPhone because they felt bad for me. Because my SIM card went bad and ruined my iPhone. So I went to the Apple store, swapped it out. Um, and all of a sudden, it wouldn't work again. Same issue, it said no SIM card installed. So they figured that that SIM card also ruined um, the iPhone, so they felt bad for me, and they just gave me a 16 gig and a new SIM card. So yeah, that's what you can do. So that's VMware Fusion. So I'm going to go view. I'm going to change it back to the way I had it. So, single window, bring it onto this monitor. You want to know what? It might, now that I'm running dual screen, it might be better for it to open up on that monitor. I'm going to have to think about that. Or, because I, I really don't like Unity. It, Unity doesn't work well. So, yeah. I will post this video, so I don't know why I just said that. But I'll have the iPhone 16 gig unboxing video up in about, no, oh, I don't know, a day. Thank you for watching.